You never know where interesting, curious, and fascinating things will turn up next. You can pick literally any country in the world, and brilliantly odd things have been found there. So let's pick one and investigate. Israel. These are 20 strangest things recently discovered in Israel. Number 20. The Dead Sea Scrolls. The Dead Sea Scrolls are a collection of ancient Jewish texts and manuscripts that were discovered in the late 20th century in the vicinity of the Dead Sea, near modern-day Israel and Jordan. These scrolls are believed to have huge religious, historical, and literary significance. They include a wide range of documents like biblical texts, religious commentaries, hymns, calendars, and various other writings. The discovery of the scrolls had changed the study of ancient Judaism and Christianity and provided new insights into the development of religious thought, the evolution of biblical text, and the cultural and historical context of the time. Whether it's cars or dresses or musical styles or whatever. These manuscripts continue to be the subject of intense scholarly research and enthusiastic reception by Bible fans everywhere, as you might imagine they would be. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Recently, the Dead Sea finally dried up and now this has emerged. It was a temporary drying up in hot weather, and when that sort of thing happens, peculiar junk that's on the seabed can come to the surface for everyone to see. Often, that's just dead sea creatures or garbage, but on this occasion, a particular wooden structure was found. Quite what it is, nobody knows. To the best guess, it's that it's some kind of long-lost ancient tribal structure and possibly was built to be worshipped by a long-lost culture. But what do you think? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. A Really, Really Old Seed So, the Judean date palm is a date tree that grows in Judea. Well, duh. Anyways, this tree was regarded as the symbol of fertility in the region during ancient times and was found all across the area for centuries until it all but disappeared. These trees were cultivated up until the 14th century AD when the infrastructure of the area rapidly altered and the climate change made the growth of the trees more difficult and so they just gradually vanished from the landscape. Then in 2005, a group of scientists had managed to resurrect the tree from an ancient preserved seed. This year, she had 621 dates, and this is part of one of them. In fact, that seed was 2,000 years old, and it is the oldest seed that has ever been germinated with human help. That seed turned into a date palm tree, which was then named Methuselah. That is not the same as the very old tree in the Californian desert that goes by the same name. After the success of the first sprouting, scientists then cultivated six more of these from ancient seeds, and the Judean date palm was brought back from extinction. Huzzah! Number 18. Mosque Discovered in Negev Desert Back in 2022, a group of archaeologists uncovered a 12,000-year-old mosque in Israel's Negev Desert. This makes it one of the oldest mosques to have been discovered anywhere in the world. The mosque in Rahat is square in shape and has a small alcove that faces Mecca in its southern wall. The discovery occurred during excavation for some planned construction in the area. They also found a bunch of ceramics on the site that date back to the 7th and 8th centuries. This has been a major help in determining the mosque's age. Another mosque from a similar era was discovered in 2019, but that one didn't have any extra artifacts alongside of it. It's also thought that these mosques would have served a rural farming settlement. As well as this newly discovered mosque, the ruins of a mansion were also found and it's thought that this was possibly owned by wealthy Byzantine Christians. The mansion had elaborately frescoed walls, stone pavement plaster floors, and expansive tableware. There were also two ovens, including a large one beside a water cistern. This layout has suggested that soap operation and production was perhaps the trade of the household. The absence of archaeological evidence of violence would suggest that there were amicable reasons and relations between the Byzantines and early Islamic rulers. This transition from Christianity to Islam in the region may have occurred through various means, including local conversion and the influence of traders. This mosque has given archaeologists a new set of information to understand the growth of Islam all across the Middle East. Number 17. Opium from the 14th Century BC 
An ancient burial site in Israel has revealed the earliest known use of narcotic opium. This is a burial complex in Tel Yehud, which is about seven miles to the southeast of Tel Aviv. The archaeological dig unearthed all manner of pottery vessels, and it was inside one of these that the traces of opium were discovered. The thing is, though, these containers and the burial site in which they were found date back about 3,400 years. It's thought that the containers may have played some sort of role in the burial rituals of the people at the time. It is known that the area had been inhabited by the Canaans. These were an ancient people who lived from the Bronze Age to the Iron Age across the Middle East region that covers modern-day Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, and parts of Jordan and Syria. So, it's believed to have been a Canaanite site. Nobody knows exactly how they may have used opium in their burial rituals, but there are theories that the priest may have ingested it in a drink and then entered into an ecstatic state to perform the rites. Number 16. 1800-Year-Old Shipwreck when a man went diving off the coast of Israel in May of 2023, he discovered a shipwreck which had apparently been resting on the bottom of the sea for around 1,800 years. The ship had once been carrying a huge cargo of marble objects when it apparently sunk in the waters about 24 miles off the coast of Tel Aviv. There were dozens of marble pieces which included various architectural features like column heads, a massive architrave, and decorative molding. The cargo had been underwater for about 2,000 years, and although it was known about by authorities, they had never had its precise location, so they were pleased to finally know exactly where to find it. It seems that a recent storm had shifted the sands of the seabed, and the marbles had been uncovered so that they were visible once again to divers. According to historians, the wreck was likely to have been a merchant vessel, carrying these marbles to be part of a temple or a theater. But whatever the building was to be, it was certainly very grand indeed. Number 15. Tel Megiddo Next up, we have a place called Tel Megiddo, or Mound of the Governor, or rather more terrifyingly known as Armageddon. It's an ancient city mound which is located in northern Israel, near the modern town of Megiddo. It has been continuously inhabited for over 5,000 years, and that's made it one of the most important archaeological sites in the whole history-rich region. This place is fortified, the most fortified uh, town in Israel, but there is a problem. As it was strategically positioned at a key crossroads of ancient trade routes, Tel Megiddo was a significant urban center in the ancient Near East. It was in control of several major routes that connected Egypt with Mesopotamia and was an essential junction for all kinds of trade, as well as a bunch of military activities of the time. The site's loads of layers of archaeological remains that span the various periods of history. It goes from the Bronze Age, Iron Age, and Persian all through the Hellenistic, Roman, and Byzantine periods, and the many different excavations that have taken place there have uncovered extensive fortifications, palaces, temples, and other structures, and have offered up endless amounts of information to historians on ancient urban planning, architecture, and daily life. Most obviously, it has a massive and extremely well-preserved system of defensive fortifications, including huge walls, gates, and ramparts, and it all shows just how valuable the city's strategic position was and its history of military conflicts. Its significance goes well beyond its archaeology, holding religious and cultural importance as well. In the Christian tradition, it's associated with the prophesied site of the final battle between good and evil, commonly referred to as the Battle of Armageddon, mentioned in the Book of Revelation. This is an obsession among certain groups of Christians and has even resulted in some really sick pleasures being taken in the wars that the region has been suffering, as this if you are so full of religious zeal that you lost your humanity, indicates that the end times are close and the faithful will be ascending heavenwards in the foreseeable. It could also indicate that power and money are corrupting forces and that war is the result, but whatever. Nowadays, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's also a popular destination for tourism, historians, and archaeology enthusiasts who are all seeking to explore the ancient history of the Levant. It's fun to tell people that you are taking a trip to Armageddon if you happen to enjoy such weirdness. Number 14. Dead Sea Jordan The Dead Sea is actually a salt lake that is landlocked between Jordan and the Israeli-occupied West Bank. It's intensely salty, about 33.7% salt, which is 8.6 times saltier than the sea, which is about 3.5%. So, there's not a whole lot that can live in these sort of conditions, hence the name. It's pretty dead there. 
But divers have recently discovered that beneath the surface of the Dead Sea, there is something unexpected going on. Since the 1930s, it's been known that the Dead Sea is not quite thoroughly dead. It's actually full of various microbes that are not at all perturbed by the salt factor, since it actually makes it impossible for other microbes to live there and compete for the environment. But recently, it's been discovered there are actually things that are living in there. For years, there had been ripples on the surface of the water that had not been explained, but it's now been discovered that they're caused by freshwater springs that jet into the bottom of the Dead Sea. These springs originated in craters and can be as deep as 100 feet beneath the surface. They're surrounded by geological formations, and these rocks are coated in biofilms, which are made up of organisms. The water around these parts is much less salty and inhospitable to life, and so life has found its way there. These organisms are adapted to live in the ever-changing mixture of salt water and fresh water. It may be weird, but nature really is often very strange indeed. Number 13. Cave near Biet Shemesh In a scholarly article, a historian speculated that a cave near to Biet Shemesh in Israel may have once been believed to have been a portal to the underworld. They suggest that about 1700 years ago, people in the region were using the cave for all kinds of ritual magic and other fun stuff like that. The cave was first mapped out by some British explorers in 1873, but then it wasn't very much explored until recently. Apparently, cave experts have been poking around in the inner chambers and have discovered all manner of weird junk. It looks like a lot of the sort of stuff that Indiana Jones would find, to be fair. Anyways, here you have some of it. A load of oil lamps, about 120 in total, as well as pottery and Bronze Age weapons. There are also what appear to be parts of three human skulls. This discovery has led researchers to speculate that necromancy, or communicating with the dead, was practiced here and the skulls were part of that specific ritual. It's thought that, based on the olfaction of items, this was going on here around about 300 BCE during the late Roman period. Number 12. Hamat Gadir Hamat Gadir is a tourist destination in a river valley near the Sea of Galilee in Israel. It's famous for its hot springs, which have been used for their therapeutic properties for literally thousands of years. The hot springs of Hamat Gadir were known to the Romans. They loved a good bath and built them all over the world. At this site, they built extensive baths and spa facilities around the 2nd century CE. These particular baths were a part of a more large recreational complex that the Romans were so fond of building. That included temples, courtyards, and entertainment areas. Nowadays, visitors can still see the ruins of these Roman baths, but mostly people just go there for the waters. There are the hot springs, of course, but it also has a whole boatload of other things for visitors to do. There are swimming pools, mud baths, saunas, and therapeutic treatments, and the site also has its own botanical gardens, restaurants, and picnic areas. So you can just imagine it's a popular destination for families and tourists, and it's thrilling stuff, I'm sure. Number 11. Ramses II Era Burial Cave In 2022, archaeologists in Israel discovered a cave that ancient people had apparently sealed up some 3,300 years ago. The cave was found only yards from a beach south of Tel Aviv, and it seemed as though the use of the cavemen have dated back to a time when the ancient Egyptians, led by Ramses II, ruled over what is now Israel. Construction workers, operating a mechanical digger at a beach national park, accidentally found the cave when the machine unexpectedly poked a hole in its roof. Archaeologists from the Israel Antiquities Authority were then called to the scene. They climbed down a ladder into the dark cave, which seemed to have remained untouched for centuries, and inside there were all loads of carefully arranged ceramic and bronze goods. These sort of things were often associated with burial ceremonies in ancient times. The artifacts that they found in the cave included dozens of pottery vessels, some of which were painted red, as well as chalices, cooking pots, storage jars, and oil lamps. Some of those vessels were not locally made, but appeared to have been imported from Syria, Lebanon, and Cyprus in ancient times. As well as all of this fun pottery, the cave also contained bronze arrowheads, and it seemed that the cave's sealed nature meant that much of it had remained unlooted, which is extremely unusual. Number 10. Ivories Discovered in Jerusalem 
In the city of Jerusalem a few years back, some excavations in a parking lot unearthed a bunch of old bits of ivory. Loads of people were apparently really excited about this discovery, as it was, according to the biblical references they used, evidence of the first temple period in Jerusalem. These are a collection of ivory plaques that were apparently part of the inlaid work on a bed that was inside of a palace in Jerusalem, built sometime during the first temple period between 1200 and 586 BC. The story goes that King Solomon had built the first temple in 1000 BC, after King David had conquered Jerusalem and made it his capital. Number 9. Miracle Pool All the way back in 2004, a group of archaeologists identified a pool, or the remains of one, that they believed to have been the Siloam Pool, which, according to the Bible, is where Jesus performed the miracle of curing a man's blindness. The pool runs through the neighborhood of Silwan, which is Arab quarter, but in the ancient past, the pool was used by Jewish people for ritual immersions for approximately 120 years until 70 CE when the Romans destroyed the temple. There is archaeological evidence that the pool was once connected to the Temple Mount and was part of a bigger system in the olden days. The legend has it that the pure waters could even heal a person who was suffering from leprosy. The waters were alleged to have healed the physically ailing, but also the spiritually sick, whatever that may imply. Number 8. A Strange Neanderthal Between 120,000 to 140,000 years ago, early humans migrated from Africa to the Middle East. During this time, apparently they may have encountered a strange-looking Neanderthal with modern stone tools. The discovery of new fossils in Israel has all the scientists very excited and wondering if it could be the earliest known Neanderthal in the Middle East, or perhaps a remnant of an unknown Neanderthal ancestor. The plot does thicken. The Middle East was basically a bit of a crossroads for both modern humans and Neanderthals. The recent discovery was made in a limestone quarry in the central part of Israel and included tools and fossils dating back 120,000 to 140,000 years ago. The stone tools found at the site were similar to those that were used later by Neanderthals and modern humans, but weirdly, the fossils did not match either species. They instead had a mix of archaic and Neanderthal-like traits, which seemed to suggest that they belonged to a previously unknown population of Homo or another Neanderthal lineage. Whatever happened, it seems that humans and Neanderthals may have been trading information or at least encountering each other in ways that were previously not known. Number 7. Old City Gate in Israel In southern Israel, archaeologists uncovered a city gate from the early Bronze Age at Tel Arani. The gate was built around 5,500 years ago, featuring a passageway that had been constructed with large stones and thousands of mud bricks. Its discovery implies that urbanization across this area had actually begun earlier than previously believed. Greatest chance discoveries ever made in local archaeology here? The discovery of this gate helps archaeologists to establish the moment in time when there was a shifting from people living scattered across the region to residing inside of the city walls. The gate predates a similar one that was found at Tel Arad by about 300 years. What a fun one! Number 6. Biblical Inscription Back yet again in southern Israel, where archaeologists discovered a 3,100-year-old fragment of a jug with five ink-written letters on it. Sounds like a proper thrill ride, I know. They believe that these letters might actually represent the moniker for Judge Gideon ben Yosh in the Book of Judges. The team found the artifact at a dig site in a forest in the Judean foothills in 2019. They then dated it back about 1100 BC using both pottery typology and radiocarbon dating. This discovery aligns with the time frame that was described in the Book of Judges, in which scholars have generally placed somewhere to be between 1200 and 1050 BC. However, the book itself was likely written down around 550 BC. Awesome! Number 5. 1500-Year-Old Mosaic when archaeologists were excavating a Byzantine-era structure in the biblical city of Bethsaida, they accidentally found what appeared to be a mosaic floor dating back about 1,500 years with two inscriptions that are written in ancient Greek. According to some, this is evidence of the Church of the Apostles, which has been long lost to history or legend. <laughs> 
The floor was decorated with tiny yellow, red, and orange tiles, and the words, which are only partially visible, have been translated to say, in the years, or times, of our master, his holiness our bishop. Although there has never been any solid proof that the church existed, the legend tells that it was built on top of the home of the apostles Peter and Andrew. Who knows, though? For every archaeological discovery across the region, there are always multiple explanations behind the things that are found. The agendas and interests of those who are looking to prove their religious texts can have an impact on the way in which these things are understood and reported. I'm not saying that they use propaganda, but, well, <laughs> you know. Number 4. 2,000-Year-Old Coin Next up we have a coin, yes, one single individual coin that caused a whole lot of ruckus. This is a coin that's been dated back to almost 2,000 years ago from the Roman period in ancient Israel, unearthed at the site of Biet Itab ancient ruins by a couple of 12-year-old boys who had been out hiking in the area. <laughs> The coin shows that it was minted in Jerusalem during the reign of Herod Agrippa. This dates it to a time period of 41 to 44 AD, which was when he was the Roman Jewish king of Judea. One side of the coin shows a royal canopy beside an inscription that reads Agrippa the king in Greek, and the opposite side of the coin has an image of three grain stalks. It is an unusual find in this particular site because most of the other discoveries here have been dated to the later eras of the Crusader and Ottoman periods. Number 3. Biblical Earthquake In 2021, a group of archaeologists uncovered what they believed to be evidence of an earthquake that had struck the city of David in Jerusalem approximately 2,800 years ago. This, they say, potentially corresponds to a significant event that was mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. During their excavations in the City of David National Park, the Israel Antiquities Authority's archaeological team found an entire layer of destruction that dates back to that period of history. Inside of that layer of stuff, they found a heap of broken vessels, which included bowls, lamps, cooking utensils, and storage jars, which had apparently been shattered as the walls of a building collapsed. The team noted there seemed to be an absence of fire damage, and that indicated that the destruction probably wasn't the result of an attack on the city by invading forces. The type of destruction seemed to be more like that of an earthquake than it was a raid. Similar destruction layers from about 2,800 years ago have actually been discovered at other sites all across the region, and this has led researchers to speculate that these findings could well indicate a biblical earthquake. There are references to such an earthquake in the books of Amos and Zechariah, both of which mention seismic events occurring during the reign of King Uzziah in Jerusalem, the capital of the kingdom of Judah. The verse from Zechariah 14.5 reads, You will flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. So, this could actually be evidence that there was an earthquake across the region during that era that was recorded in these books. So I guess that proves it all then, doesn't it? Number 2. Ancient Magical Bowls In ancient times, it seems that bowls were imbued with all kinds of magical powers. We've seen them used in rituals for the dead, in necromancy, and in daily life across the ancient Middle East, so it should come as no surprise that there have been many bowls uncovered in excavations that display signs of magic and spells. Back in 2022, an entire selection of these magical bowls were excavated from a site in Jerusalem. They display evidence of different spells and incantations in Hebrew and Babylonian Aramaic languages. These bowls date to about 1500 years ago and were also called swearing bowls. They were used as a sort of amulet against curses, demons, diseases, and pests. These bowls were often buried under the floor of the house to offer protection to the household. The bowls were decorated with the words by artists who were given the specific instructions as to what they were to say for the use that the owner intended. One bowl also featured an image that is said to be a so-called night demon, and this is apparently the type of entity that this particular bowl was made to help protect against. Number 1. An Amulet a small lead amulet was unearthed during sifting of the earth that was removed from the site at Mount Eval, known as Joshua's Altar in northern Samaria. 
This amulet was revealed to have an inscription on it that shows the name of Yahweh, and it's the ancient name for God in Hebrew. This is believed to be the oldest known Proto-Hebraic inscription of the name. The prior oldest had been silver amulets that had been found on Bible Hill in Jerusalem, some 600 years or more recent than this finding. As well as this amulet, there have been discoveries of the name Yahweh in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs that were found in northern Sudan, which had been Upper Egypt in the past. Plenty of people have taken this discovery to confirm that people have worshipped this particular god for a very long time indeed. Well, that's all from the archaeological digs and oddities that have been strewn across the Middle East and its long and storied history. Which of these unusual discoveries has captured your imagination? Go on and tell me all about it in the comments section down below. I know you want to. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.